Greetings! Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. And today what we're here to do is take a look at this little traveling journal that has made its way back to me. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everyone, thanks for coming back. And I am still a little bit amped up from... <laughs> from receiving this back in the mail. I'm just so happy and excited to be able to look at this and share it with you guys. And it's going to be my first time looking at it since it's come back around uh, together with you. So uh, let me just tell you brief briefly what this was about. Earlier this year, I did a, you know, I guess a, an installment of the Music Vault series where I had a tra two traveling journals. One of them is still out and about, and then this one here has made its way back to me. So I wanted to come in and just do a flip through with of this book with you all together and see what was done inside of it. So I thought that would be a nice little way to come back full circle and, you know, seeing how it went out empty and what's inside of it now. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see. This was from the passing by song that I did by zero seven. So I love that song. And in that song, it kind of made me feel like watercolor vibes. So, uh, this pap this fabric that I had used, if you can see, it almost kind of looks like watercolor fabric and the camera isn't picking it up exactly right, but it's a beautiful, beautiful fabric. So let's see, I think I have it upside down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's see what's been done. So that's my little note to everyone who got the book. First up was Janine and she was so cute. She was taking the book everywhere with her. And as you can see, she's included pictures of places that she took the book with her. <laughs> so cute. And I think she did a little sneak peek of this. I think it was on her Instagram maybe where she was showing you like little pieces of the book and the different places and cool little areas where she took it with her. So I will link to Janine down in the description box if you want to check out her channel. She's super talented. So I love this little piece as well. It's Oh, it's one of the postcards that I included and she altered it. And it's so beautiful. Look at it. She's got like some watercoloring detail that she did on here. And it's so textured. I love it. That's amazing. So here we have some more from Janine. Coney Island. <laughs> and then it looks like she decoupaged one of uh, Nathan's famous napkins on here. And then this little drawing that she did slash painting. Oh my gosh, Janine. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh, she signed it too. She's got her little initials there. So she signed it here as well. I like that she did that so I can know that it was done by her. A little W. <laughs> so cute. So she just did some little collaging on this page with the flowers and butterflies. Oh, this was the sneak peek that she did. I remember too. Her Alice in Wonderland. It's a little like pop-up piece. <laughs> And if you can see here, Alice is going from big to small. <laughs> and then the white rabbit's over here just looking quite shook. And then here's a painting that she did. I love that so much. What a beautiful contrast with the rose gold foiling in the background. I love that. And she wrote, it was all a dream. Till death do us part. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So amazing. There's Janine. <laughs> She's so happy with the book. <laughs> so cute. So here, this... Oh, she altered the timepiece. Looks like she did a little drawing on here. And then this tag is beautiful. This is like art. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, uh, okay. So this is the end of Janine's session. And I think this 
is where Shelby starts in. Because Shelby, uh, she doesn't do uh, flip throughs and such on YouTube, but I can't, I can't tell whose initial that is there on the bottom. But I have received mail from Shelby before, and she does a lot of like beautiful paintings and drawings. So I think this might be where Shelby jumped in because this note here is from Shelby. <laughs> Look, she took a picture of it in the box. So cute. Oh, I think Shelby wanted to um, let her kids be involved. So this, this may be one of their drawings. I I'm assuming it looks kind of like a cute little fun playground and there's a little tree in the background. I love this so much. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> a little collage here with a quote. Land of the living skies. And then a picture here. And that looks like a real picture that she took herself. So beautiful. Sorry, I know I raised the camera and then I'm holding it close to the camera. <laughs> I love this so much. Blue jay feathers are seen as bringers of light and said to have the ability to brighten up even the darkest of places. If I get any of these pages wrong, you guys, and you're watching, tell me and I, I will fix, you know, I'll mention it down in the description box. Oh, this one's from Gracie. Okay, Gracie makes some super cute little art pieces too. Her coloring, her stamping, she's so creative. And I love this so much. Look, she put a little square around the word determined. I love that with dreams. So beautiful. Kate May, this is where Gracie is. Look at that. Here's, I'll read that later. But, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, I'm going to cry. This is amazing, you guys. Oh my goodness, look at this. Beautiful little collage. I want to say this book went out to four different ladies. So, I mean, as you can see, they've done so much in this book. Beautiful. Another little picture here. And another little note. Still have some blank pages in here, so we can probably send it around again. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is definitely from Shelby. I can tell her art. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful this is. She draws this, you guys. I feel so fortunate and I'm just, you know, so happy that they, they actually wanted to participate in doing this. I love all of the original pictures in here as well. She's got some clippings here as well. I think, if anything, this also gives you some good ideas on different ways that you can use your junk journals. And these ladies have been so creative in what they decided to do in here. And I, I just think that, you know, it speaks a lot to the way that, you know, people work in their books and the way people journal in their books and how they can be used. So if you're like me, <laughs> if you're like me and you just like to hoard your books, you can see that just by adding photographs and, um, you know, little blurbs about, you know, what you did in a day, things like that, you can totally put in here and the book is still, you know, it's not to the point where it's like, you know, bursting at the seams. And when I made these, I intentionally made them with lots of space to, to fill up. So 
you know, that's something to take into consideration if you want to make a journal where things can be used. Okay, so we're getting into the watercolor paper section. So it looks like I think this is Shelby here. Look at this. My goodness. That is beautiful. Look at the detailing in just a little pathway. Ah, oh, Shelby. <laughs> can't believe all of this. It's so beautiful. It really makes me excited to see what's coming in the other journal as well. So we have some personal photos here, so I'm just going to leave that covered. But here we have something else beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. And it flips out again, I think. Yeah. Oh, it has a big flip up here. It's a pocket. That's beautiful. How creative. And then there's a little tag in each flip. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love that. Something so simple. So we have some postcards here. These must be from Kara because they're Arizona. <laughs> yeah, we still got some room in here. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> I know Shelby uh, decoupaged this on here because... Shelby sent me this napkin and some Happy Mail recently. <laughs> I love it. Well, it does look like... It looks like that is the end so far. So, yeah, we definitely still have some space in here. There's the watercoloring, watercolor sheets that I made for them. Here's the other color palette. Oh, we have some stuff back here. Look at that. I love the way it looks with the watercoloring in the background and then the drawing on the front. Yeah, she signed it there. Well, thank you ladies so very much. And <laughs> I'm pretty speechless about the things that I've seen in here today and I really can't wait to just sit down and look at this again and um just kind of revel <laughs> in this because I'm it's very humbling to know that you've got people friends out there who are willing to do something like this you know and share a little bit of themselves with you to you know to keep and I, I just thank you. Thank you is all I can say. I love every bit of what each one of you did in here. But I'm going to be messaging you all again now that I've seen what you've done in here. And I couldn't be, I couldn't be more astonished or happy about, about this. So thank you all so much. I appreciate you all being here to share this little moment with me to see how far we've gotten in this book and maybe I will get into sending it about again sometime later in the next year because there's still some room in here you know so maybe maybe some of you want to do a little something <laughs> so that is going to wrap it up for me for now be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.